Cataclysm changes the way we gear drastically from previous iterations of the classic expansions. As such, knowing how to optimize your gear to fit your needs becomes all the more important. With the addition of mastery and the ability to reforge, the selection of gear we have on our hands is larger than ever before. And having to balance our stats with reforges adds another layer of complexity. That's where I come in. I've compiled three gear sets aimed at taking you all the way through tier 11 content as a Blood Death Knight. We'll first look at a pre-raid best in slot, a full best in slot aimed at being as beefy as possible, as well as a balanced best in slot set that puts more of an emphasis on damage output. At some point, I'll release a parsing set and guide for degenerate parsers like me who just can't seem to enjoy the simple things in life. We'll go over viable alternatives as well as things you may want to consider when gearing. Oh, and if you're waiting for the Blood DK guide to release, worry not. It'll come soon enough, so if you want to be notified about when that comes out, make sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell. Alright, let's take a look at the pre-raid best in slot. Here is a full overview of every item you should aim to obtain before subbing foot in the raid. The set will put you at about 153% mastery and 24% avoidance, which will set you up for success when heading into progression. Let's go over each piece along with alternatives you may want to consider. Starting off with the helmet, we have the engineering goggles. This should be a no-brainer for most people, since engineering should be the go-to professions for all tanks. But if you're a poor boy, then the Justice Point helmet or Helm of Easeful Death will tide you over just fine. We want to use the Helmet Enchant from Earthen Ring Revered. For our neck, we want to use either the Buxakai Choker or the Lustrous Eye, depending on whether you prefer self-healing or mitigation, as well as the size of your wallet. For our shoulders, we'd ideally want to run with Pauldrons of Edward the Odd, but if we struggle with gold, then Earthshade Pauldrons will tide you over just fine. Enchant these with the Therisane Exalted Tanking Enchant. For our cloak, we want to use the Wrap of the Grey Turtle from Guardians of Hydral Exalted. No need to talk about alternatives here, just use whatever you get along the way until you hit Exalted. We enchant the cloak with 250 armor. For the chest, we want to go with the crafted BUE DPS chest. When compared to the tanking alternative, we much prefer the mastery over the parry, and defensively, expertise doesn't really offer that much, especially during progression. So the Elementium Deathplate is definitely the way to go. The Justice Point alternative is not that far behind if you're looking to preserve some gold. We enchant the chest with 75 stamina. For the bracers, you can either go with Alpha Bracers or the Sandguard Bracers from Exalted with Ramkahen. Hit has slightly more value than Expertise, and Mastery has a higher value than Dodge. It comes down to whether you prefer having bigger shields or more avoidance. Epic Bracers also have slightly higher DPS if that's something that you value during progression. For the Enchant, we either go for 40 Stamina, 50 Dodge, or 195 Stamina if you're a little worker. For our gloves, we go with numbing handguards from Justice Points. It's an easy to get item, so it's not that important to go over alternatives. It's worth noting that if we get the release of the first raid tier 10 days after the launch, then you should be able to pick up the tier 11 gloves from Valor Points before entering the raid. We enchant the gloves with 65 mastery and our engineering tinker. For our belt, we want to go with the hardened elementium girdle. If your wallet is not very happy with all of these BOEs, then you can go for the belt of ferocious wolf from Hydro Leg Salted. For our legs, we want to go with Legards of the Willowing Winds. You can run with the Honored Legs from Earthen Ring until you get them. We enchant the legs with 145 stamina and 55 dodge. For our boots, we want to run with Boots of Solemn Rock from the Dragon Maw Clan Exalted. Not really worth talking about alternatives, as everyone should pick these up. Enchant them with 35 mastery and minor movement speed. For our rings, we want to go with two out of the following three. Felson's Ring of Resolve, Ring of Three Lights, and Blauvet's Family Crest, depending on if you prefer healing over avoidance. For our trinkets, we'll go with Mirror of Broken Images and Lifebound Alchemy Stone. If you're not running alchemy in Phase 1, then go with Lead and Despair from Stonecore Heroic. I would pursue an Impatient of Youth to use where magical damage is of no concern. For our weapon, we'd ideally like to run with Sinrock if possible, but if you don't find any luck with Archaeology, then Sword of the Bottomless Pit will tide you over just fine. Enchant it with Stone Skin Gargle for progression and Fallen Crusader while running Heroic Dungeons. For our relic, we'd run with Stalagmite Dragon from Stonecore Heroic. I've included gems and reforges that are in accordance with how I think you'll have the most success during progression. But if you value mastery more than I do, feel free to swap some gems around. For your reforges, just make sure to balance your parry and dodge so that they have equal values. Alright, let's take a look at a pure full beef tank set. These are all of the items you'll want to aim to have if you want to be as tanky as possible. 
I'm not gonna go over each of the pieces in the set. The enchants are the same as the previous, and alternatives you get along the way until you reach full bits will for the most part be the thing with the highest item level as long as it has two defensive stats or high mastery values. The 60 upgrades sheet that I have linked in the description does not properly include items from Throne of the Four Winds. But for both Cloak and Rings, we'd ideally like to go with options from there. Ideally, you'd like to get access to one Mastery in Dodge or Parry, along with one Mastery in Haste option before you get access to the Dargonax Signet. But generally, I would not recommend just to become as beefy as possible. Going a more balanced route will just increase the damage you take marginally, while allowing you to output 5 to 6k higher DPS. And as such, let's take a look at a gear set that most people should aim to have by the time we reach full best in slot. As you can notice, we heavily favor reaching hit cap and soft expertise cap. Outside of pure strength, this is the way we can most reliably increase our output numbers. We opt to go for Ashkandi enchanted with Fallen Crusader, as 3.8 attack speed make it significantly better than alternatives, and Stone Steel and Gargle offer marginal defensive utility compared to the almost 1k DPS from running Fallen Crusader. Generally, we still want to run with Mirror of Broken Images, but on fight where magic damage is of no concern, we auto-swap over to Impatience of Youth. If we can get our hands on a Heart of Rage, then that should be used over Symbolic Sandworm, assuming you're not struggling with surviving big hits from bosses. Now, I know you won't be the highest on the priority list for most of these items, but pick up whatever you can get and show your worth and I'm sure you'll be able to snatch up some items in order to pump those damage and healing meters. I've provided links to all of the sets in the description below, so feel free to bookmark this video so you can come back to look over the sets. Keep in mind that the Throne of the Four Winds loot is not currently implemented properly on 60 upgrades, but I will make sure to update the character sheets once that's sorted. Until then, remember that we want to pick up off Rock Slab if possible. A ton more DK content is on the way, along with bislets for other tanks. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.